Senator Kennedy of Louisiana. I want to thank the chairman for this hearing. Um, yeah. It should not go unnoticed, though, that some of our banks in America under your supervision are hanging by a thread. Some of them have failed, and there are six of you, and we only have five minutes to talk to you. So I'm hoping our chairman will have another hearing and, and give us all more time. It also should not go unnoticed, it seems to me, it, I don't think it does to the American people, that when, uh, when someone in the federal government gets it wrong, no one is ever fired. I mean, I, 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 I've listened to this testimony today, and I get the impression if, how can I put this? If Elizabeth Holmes worked for one of your agencies, she'd probably be getting a bonus. Um, Chairman Barr, for whom I have great respect, I have read your report. I've listened to your testimony. I have followed your remarks in the media. And, and here's what I hear you saying. Um, my people and I, at my agency, did not do a good job. And therefore, Congress should give us more money and power. Is that about right? Senator, I'm not seeking any additional authority or power or money from this committee. But you're, you're going to promulgate new rules to give you and your people more power, are you not? We're going to use our existing authority to strengthen supervision and regulation to make it less likely that this kind of event happens in the future. I'm committed to, to fixing our system of supervision, making it more agile, making it more uh, forceful, making it quicker and getting the right rules in place uh, so we have good rules of the road. I'm absolutely committed to getting that done. Okay, well, let me rephrase my question this. Here's what, then, here's what I hear you saying. My people and I did not do a good job, and therefore we're going to take the steps to make sure that we get more money and power. Is that more accurate? We're not asking for more money or more power. We're asking to... Uh, we're not asking really for anything. We're, we're committing to getting our system of supervision and regulation right, and we'll do that now. Well, here's what else I hear you saying, uh, Mr. Chairman. I hear you saying, my people and I screwed up. But even though we're adults with free will and responsibility, it wasn't our fault because Trump ate our homework. I mean, I looked at your report. And to be more specific, Randy Quarles ate our homework. I mean, you said in your report, you talked about Trump era changes, and you say those changes, quote, impeded effective supervision by reducing standards increasing complexity, and promoting a less assertive supervisory approach, end quote. So I, I find your acceptance of responsibility in, in light of your report to be a bit hollow. The way I read your report, let me say it again, you're saying, yep, we screwed up, but it's not our fault because Trump ate our homework. Is that about right? Senator, I, I disagree with that characterization. Uh, first of all, the report does not speak about any politician. Is uh, Randy Quarles at fault? Uh, I accept full responsibility for our supervision and regulation at the you Federal didn't Reserve. didn't report. And the report does as well. The report no, is absolutely clear about that. No, it doesn't. We I accept just read responsibility. From your no, it doesn't. Did I read it wrong? I believe you did, sir. No, I didn't. Here it is, bigger than Dallas. Go back and read your own report. 
I yield back my four seconds, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator, hey, before you click on the next video, if y'all could do me a big favor and hit that like button. The algorithm loves it, and so do I, because it helps promote these videos and get the message out about what our government has been doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, because every time I put out a video, you want to know about it, right? Thanks again, and have a good one. See you on the next one. Peace.